We fix it to make this town real smoky. I just finished watching part two of Rebel Moon and oh my god that movie is not good. The first one although it was kind of bad like it had its uh, points you know it was super generic it was super like slow paced it was way too long. I thought the main uh, I thought the main bad guy was kind of cool to a like very little bit like I like what they were going with for the character but they were definitely lacking in execution having him get beat up by the main character in the first film really diminished the impact he could make in the second one like you, you kind of don't do that you don't show your villain getting beat up the first time around I mean look at Kylo you were bested by a child who never wielded a lightsaber it's kind of what they did to him Zack Snyder wanted to do better than Star Wars but with their main villain he was doing the same thing that Star Wars did with Kylo Ren. Now, I'm not going to focus too much on part one, but let's skip into part two. Part two, what I first will say is that there is way too much slow motion. There's one portion of the movie where it's like 30 minutes of it. And you're just watching like people cut like wheat and like grain in slow motion. Never before have I saw a like farming montage in slow motion that guy was doing way 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 too much like there was instances where like someone would get shot or blown up and it was just slow motion for no reason in the segment where all the characters did their uh, backstories all at once first off i think that was kind of stupid to do because like the first movie should have done that it should have kind of explained who they are what they're fighting for and if they would have cut down on all the slow motions, maybe they could have done that. Even when they're all talking about their backgrounds and what they went through and how they, you know, got to where they are, it all sounded like the same thing over and over and over again. Repetition is what really like drags this down so much. Even with the battle scenes, you're watching the battle play out and you can almost predict what is going to happen next. As then not only can you predict it, it then goes on to happen for the next like 10, 20 minutes. They stick on, like the, the girl who was swinging the sword, she had the metal hands. They're basically lightsaber ripoffs. She was in that barn fighting for like 40 minutes. I feel like they had way too many characters and tried to have them all defend this small village with like eight buildings. They just were very restricted in the story that they can tell with all of these characters. And as a result, you had a lot of characters just, just like stuck in a barn fighting four people for 30 minutes. This movie is like kind of flawed for so many different reasons. Like the character development is not really there. It's also generic and corny and like you can see everything coming a mile away. Like for example, when they pulled up that ship and they were, first off, why is a massive empire, a, a galaxy dominating force, why are they relying on one group of farmers to get food. You can bring the main villain back to life, but you can't create some kind of like astronaut food or something. You have to rely on these farmers. And it's like, okay, if you gotta rely on these farmers, then why is it so difficult to like subjugate them? Like a multi-galaxy spanning empire should be able to find some kind of resources from somewhere. You mean to tell me there isn't some random planet that has like just animals on it and you can't like maybe eat those animals there's not berries or like fruit or somewhere this is the only source of food that is very dumb but then also too when the main villain left the main ship and came down to the battlefield I understand they wanted to kind of do like a Dark Vader Sith kind of thing where they show up on the battlefield and even though Dark Vader is the one in control, he's down there fighting everyone. It kind of makes you just realize how much more untouchable he is. That guy in Rebel Moon is not that. When he went down to the battlefield, I just thought it was the stupidest thing ever because I'm sitting here looking at this like the story already said if you die, your whole ship and your whole army will retreat. It just blows my mind that seven people and a group of villagers can hold off one of the supposedly the strongest faction in the military. You wonder how they were able to get so successful and grow so large and dominant in, and they can't even hold off one town of farmers. It's just so like bad, very, very bad, a generic, boring, too much slow-mo. The main character, was also very boring and very dull. 
lacks personality, lacks any type of like motivation or ingenuity. Her whole backstory, if done right, could have been really cool, but the way that they executed it, it was just like the most generic and boring thing ever. And it sucks because they had some good actors in this uh, film and they didn't even like utilize them properly. You could tell that Zack Snyder just is not good as we all thought he was. And in Rebel Moon part one and two, it shows.